We're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Okay, we're back live into hour number two of this Sunday transmission. Let's talk to Kevin in Florida. Kevin, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey. Uh, hey, Alex, how are you? Good, good. Good to have you on with us. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Alex, I first heard you um, in the management about nine years now. I, I was doing some government work, uh, analyst work in a radio shack overnight, and I discovered... Um, Coast to coast, and you were talking about the Bohemian Grove, man, and that's what actually hung uh, hung me on coast to coast as well as this this subject matter. Um, I absolutely agree with you, man. In, in general, and it was very enlightening. All the the um, the, the intricacies and the dots really that you connected over the years concerning the secret societies and their true ambitions. I do find it troubling that. I mean, I believe that President Obama is absolutely an an, an, an unintended consequence to their plans. Because I don't see him doing any decisions that, as a president, I mean, well, all of his advisors always... are, are globalists who, who are part of the criminal banking takeover. I mean, we knew he was going to be bad day one. People are like, well, give him a chance. I knew what he was going to do. I knew who financed him. I think to that extent we're seeing the, the impact that it has on the office of the presidency. But as a man and as a, as a, in terms of his life philosophy, I believe he's the best chance we have for moving in a different direction. Well, I don't see the thing. I mean, he's an enemy of the globalists, Alex. You got to agree with that. He's His an enemy. Are. His policies are. I, I absolutely. I mean, look at the escrow fund that he was uh, created, caused British Petroleum to establish. Um, that's absolutely unprecedented, Alex. You know, for years, corporations have been able to tie up the paying out of even one dollar to victims of corporate abuses and negligence in court for years. But now, um, this, well, this well is Kevin, this is a complex issue. But the federal government, you know, had had the vaccine makers what twenty years ago create the vaccine damage fund to limit the amounts, to keep it secret, and to make people settle their vaccine damages quietly. Uh, they've actually created a fund that they're investing in. It's like derivatives, uh, and then that actually limits what BP has to go through. BP was one of his biggest. Uh, contributors. BP promotes the carbon taxes. Uh, you know, it's kind of like Obama coming out and saying uh, he was going to limit Wall Street pay or whatever. Uh, and he was going to punish, you know, the big Wall Street firms. And then it turns out that he actually wrote, the White House wrote for Senator Dodd the subsections that let them get out of that, whether you think that was good or not. The point is, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. I mean, when Goldman Sachs gets behind somebody, you better believe they're going to be bad. So the alternative is, is absolutely, I mean, there's no third-party candidate that's going to actually um, upseat the, the Demo any Democrat in office. You know that's not going to happen. The Tea Party is going to caucus with the Republicans. So the, the alternative is to return the philosophy that absolutely, without a doubt, is absolutely adheres to the philosophy that you're alerting us of, which would be the Republican Party. Well, Kevin, let me just be clear. Let, let, let me just be clear with you, okay? I was against George W. Bush, and I was against Al Gore, and I said you can't vote for either one of them. They're two different flavors of the same poison Kool-Aid. You know, one's grape flavor, one's cherry flavor, but it's all got political cyanide in it from the same globalist source. And it's the same thing now with Obama, and it's going to be the same thing with whatever Republican candidate they put out there, unless it's Ron Paul or something. Okay, uh, I, I look at the voting records, all right, and so... I'm saying focus on the states and the cities and the counties. That's where we can have a real effect. Uh, instead of having 60% turnouts for the president and have 8% local, we need to get 60% turnout locally, and we need to get good people to take over the state governments. Happening, Alex. You know, you know there's going to either be a Democrat or a Republican as president. It's going to just, it's not going to happen in the foreseeable future as a reality. I happen to understand what you're saying, and if that would, would happen, then it would be rational to think about it. But it's absolutely insane to think about giving the, the purse strings of the national economy back to the Republicans. Well, that's Party. how they control people, is that the Republicans are bought and paid for by the same interests. The Democrats are. They fight with each other over the reins of power. But in the final equation, they work for the same interests, and so they take steps. You know, the Republicans take a step, the Democrats take a step, and people then get fooled by that kind of football game, or you for the Redskins or the Cowboys, when the same owner owns both teams. It's like a Don King boxing match. But, Kevin, I appreciate your call. Interesting points. Uh, we're going to have to get back to a philosophy of liberty and freedom and to stop all this unconstitutional garbage. And both parties... Number one enemy in their actions, not their rhetoric, is eviscerating 
the Bill of Rights and Constitution. Okay, we're in a world government already. More call straight ahead. Back in one minute. Listen up, friends. This is Alex Jones with Key Information. The mainstream media is now admitting that we're going into a depression. Don't be dependent on the government for you and your family. You need to get your own supply of high-quality storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. They're the best company out there, the longest continually operating, with a ton of great food to choose from. It's all fresh and made on a monthly basis, not some old cruddy food they're selling you like some of the other guys. Try their new evacuation pack, a two-week supply of delicious, easy-to-fix food. It comes with all the equipment you need to prepare it. With open talk of a strike on Iran in the next three months, the crisis in the Gulf, and possible evacuations, get yourself and your family ready today. The place to go is eFoodsDirect.com. Go to their website online right now, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or call 800-409-5633. Again, on the web, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or give them a call at 800-409-5633. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. It is Sunday, the third day of October 2010. We're about a month out from the election, and we've got all the new fake terror alerts right on time. The terrorists are going to get us. Governor Ridge, the former head of Homeland Security, before Chertoff and now Napolitano, admitted that they staged fake terror alerts, completely criminal. We've got all these White House advisors saying they need to have some type of terror event so that Obama uh, looks powerful. Read those quotes last hour, but I'm not supposed to talk about this because the government, it loves us, it cares about us. Yeah, it radiated troops to death. Yeah, they 4,000 foster children in one experiment alone were murdered by the U.S. government. Yeah, they released a bioweapon in the New York subway in 68. Yeah, there's over 10,000 declassified instances of different programs, but yeah, there is a Rockefeller Foundation group of documents linked up on Infowars.com where... They admittedly created a hormone to be added to tetanus shots to sterilize women, and they've been doing it, and fertility's plunging. But I should just ignore all that and be positive. You know what? I'm sure the Republicans are going to save us, and Obama's going to save us. and You know, the world government they're now announcing that they denied was being built. Oh, maybe it's run by good guys. You know, they admit it's going to be authoritarian and oppressive, and they admit that they've imploded the derivatives market to bankrupt our societies, to, quote, lower our carbon footprint. So many headlines about recession, good for lowering carbon footprint. But I'm just, you know, not supposed to read the Club of Rome, CFR, Trilateral Commission, Biological Diversity Assessments, 1996 by the U.N., State Department Memorandum 200, where they just admit this whole world government plan or the Rand Corporation declassified documents or the Carnegie Endowment or the Ford Foundation. It's all admitted, and I know exactly what they're doing, and that's how I'm able to predict what's going to happen in the future, but let's just ignore all that and be positive. The government's full of good people, and, you know, the government lied 39 years ago about their secret program to take blood samples from all babies at birth, and now they admit they're doing it. It's part of a eugenics bioweapon program. But we should just trust a government that secretly takes blood from babies and claims it's for a blood test when it's not. And, you know, they shot people up all over the world with syphilis and polio. That's all declassified. And they got caught this year doing it all over the world again, CBS News. But the, the CIA means well when they shoot kids up with live polio. I mean, kids becoming paralyzed and dying, that's a loving thing. You know, there's good listeners out there. They're good patriots. They're not going to search what I just said. They're not going to find out I'm telling the truth. No, they're just going to support the government, and that's what patriots do. And uh, things will get worse and worse, but hey, that's what we're supposed to do is be a bunch of suckers. All right, I'm going to stop being sarcastic. Uh, who's up next here, Chris in Florida? Chris, you're on the air. Welcome. Alex. Hey, buddy. Hey there. Hey, uh, yeah, I didn't hear the buzz. Hey, uh, Gore, you may have heard, I'm sure you know about uh, Gore being uh, heckled this past Thursday in Tampa. I know you posted the video on Prison Planet, and now it has over 280,000 views in under three days, and and uh, there's even more video to be coming out. But uh, it's amazing that in this uh, domestic U.S. press, the event is being misreported. Well, or let me be clear. Uh, uh, I mean, are you the guy that shot it? No, I'm not. I got similar video of that and, and more heckling, other things that were actually just retorts. Yeah, everywhere uh, Al Gore goes now, he gets heckled, 
and the people in the left-right paradigm were shouting at you guys, uh, if people watch the video, get out of here, Republicans. And I loved how you guys shouted, both parties are controlled. I mean, they don't know how to deal with that because a Democrat won't listen to any criticism because you must be a Republican, and a Republican won't listen to any criticism because you must be a Democrat. No, we're patriots that know what's going on. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we were pretty well armed with a lot of facts. Well, in the in the domestic U.S. press, as I was saying, it was it was not even being reported, and uh, it's being misreported. But uh, the only ones to mention any dissent of, of Al Gore was the Telegraph newspaper, and and they just uh, mentioned that uh, this clip that uh, you may have seen or is going to there's more footage coming out of it where it's I'm quoting the Telegraph. It says he was clearly popular in the hall, though when he referred to giving in to wealthy corporate special interests the heckler shouted like you so there's also that and uh, there's also the st petersburg times which well notice how they say he was popular it was a democratic congressional event correct yes yeah. oh absolutely they over reported the number of people i would say about three to four hundred no they no but it says he was there stumping for a uh, house candidate yes for kendrick meek for senate and it, it's also astounding that a St. Petersburg Times here, which uh, most would think is, is right-leaning, would uh, lie in their video and their picture is captioned, former Vice President Al Gore left in the Senate can uh, candidate Kendrick Meek worked the crowd Thursday after Gore gave a speech in support of Meek at a Tampa Union Hall, and that is not true. Al Gore went right behind the stage, and he left quite quickly, and that can be proven by the video. Well, listen, let's be clear. Let's be clear. If we figure out that we can go out and confront these politicians everywhere and run them off the stage and show that they're not popular, it, the same thing's going to be done to Republicans. And so that's why the controlled system doesn't want you to know the power you have of actually showing up and getting in people's faces. Good job, Chris. Let's talk to Robert in Texas. Robert, you're on the air. Great broadcast today, Mr. Jones. Thank you, Robert. What's on your mind? Okay, I got two quick thoughts. First, for the last guy, not the last guy, but the guy before him who was on, um, just for, he needs to remember that uh, both Clinton and Gingrich go to Bilderberg and Bohemian Grove together. That's right. Um, There's continuity so of agenda. Both parties at the top are controlled by the same people. The Republicans play the opposition of patriotic conservatives, but they're only there to betray that. The Democrats play the part of the open socialist, bamboozling the general public that they're going to get some free goodies in class warfare if they sell out. But that's only so the big mega corporations have control of the general public through handouts. And then you can tell what their real agenda is because they vote the same on the meat and potato stuff, the stuff that they really care about while they use social issues to divide. That's right. That's you've got, you've got uh, uh, all these different programs on Comedy Central uh, with Stewart and Colbert attacking 9-11 Truth. You've got all the neocons attacking 9-11 Truth. You've got Colbert and all them attacking the birthers. You've got the, the, the neocon leaders attacking the birthers. Anything real like the birthers or 9-11, anything that can really hurt their system, anything that's really truthful, they all attack it together. Just like you saw the big Republicans support the bailouts, just like the Democrats did on the key issues, continuity of agenda. Yeah, and uh, my other thought was uh, to another previous caller, and anybody else who's having a hard time getting on these call-in shows, uh, drop me a line at the Funkmaster 5 YouTube channel or at our Facebook page, Funkmaster 5 fan page there. It's all spelled out. No and, and the way to do it is to act really stupid or, or call in and say, I disagree with you, I'm a liberal, but act dumb, but stay in the left-right paradigm, or call in and say, oh, I worship you, that's how you get on. You don't have to do that here, folks. We don't screen your calls here. It's wide open phones, but all these other shows, it's completely uh, you know, scripted on who they allow on, so unfortunately, uh, you've got to be deceptive to get on. Well, they peddle this image of being accessible to the people. So either we get the information out or we don't allow them to peddle that image. Either way, we have a victory if people make those calls. So that's all I got. That's right, Robert. Your YouTube channel is full of hundreds of successful calls, getting out key information. We don't have time to go to another call before break. Um, I've got to go ahead and get to uh, the, the environmentalist mindset. Now, now, you've got real environmentalists that don't want to eat GMO food that's been proven to be toxic, who don't want poison in their water, who want reasonable things. 
Okay, reasonable. But then you've got the Rockefellers over.